As you can see, I've just launched my AutoCAD 2010, and I'm currently sitting in the blank drawing1.dwg file. I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about the AutoCAD commands themselves. We're going to look at the workflow behind each command, because you know what? They all work the exact same way. So in this lesson, we're going to look at the anatomy of an AutoCAD command. I'd like you to do this with me. Let's come up to the Draw panel in our ribbon, and we'll launch the Line command by clicking the icon. Now that the command's active, take a look at the bottom of the screen. This area right down here is called the Command Line. This is where AutoCAD speaks to us. This is where AutoCAD tells us what it needs to complete the current command. Right now, AutoCAD's saying, specify first point. So I will left-click a point on screen to start my line. Then if I look at the command line, I can see specify next point, or if I wanted to, I could undo. I'm going to left-click a few more points on screen. Take a look at the command line now. I have two options here within the brackets. Anytime you see choices between brackets, these guys are called sub-options of the command. A sub-option is just an additional feature that's located within the running command. If I want to access a sub-option, there's two ways I can do it. One way is by using the keys on my keyboard. If I simply type the capitalized letter of the sub-option I want and hit enter, that's one way to do it. So if I wanted to back up one segment, I could type U for undo and hit enter. If I wanted to back up another one, I could type U and hit enter. Notice I'm still in the command, so I could pick some more points on screen. And if I wanted to close this shape, I could simply type C for close and hit enter. Let's launch the line command again. I'm going to come up and click the icon. Once again, I'm going to pick a few points on screen. Let's look at another way to access sub-options. This happens to be my personal favorite. I like to get them through the right-click menu. If I right-click, the sub-options are always going to be located right in the middle of the menu. So if I wanted to back up one step, I could simply click Undo. If we want to back up another one, right-click, Undo. I could continue on if I wish. And if I wanted to close this shape, I could right-click and select Close. Virtually 90% of the AutoCAD commands contain additional sub-options. And we can access them either way. I want to show you one more thing. Let's launch the line command one more time. We'll pick a few points on screen. Let's talk about how we can cancel out of a running command. If I have a command active in my command line and I want to get out of it, I can simply hit the Escape key on my keyboard, and AutoCAD will stop the command in its tracks. Now, since you're just starting out with this program, I can't emphasize enough the importance of keeping an eye on the command line. Remember, this is where AutoCAD is speaking to you. Quite often as a beginner, people struggle because they may be entering something when AutoCAD is expecting something else. So if you're having problems, that's one of the first places you can look. Don't worry, once you get the hang of it, you'll realize that all the commands are essentially set up the same way, and you'll begin to anticipate what AutoCAD needs before it even asks for it.